Hey, Clarence Haynes here back again in the Bible Study Club and we are talking about this growth or knowledge wheel that we introduced in the last uh, session. The question was, how do you grow in your knowledge of God and of Jesus? And we introduced this concept called the growth or knowledge wheel. And the first thing we looked at last time was revelation. That's where it begins, right? Not uh, education, but revelation. So what's the next piece in this wheel? The next uh, spoke in the wheel, if you want to use that vernacular. And to help us, we need to look at Matthew chapter 14. And, and here's what happened in Matthew 14. Jesus tells his disciples, hey, get in the boat and go to the other side of the lake. I'll meet you later. And so the disciples get in the boat and they're rowing across the boat. And all of a sudden, a storm rises up in the middle of the lake and the disciples are struggling to try to keep the boat afloat and keep steering it and all of a sudden they look and they see this figure approaching and they say wait a second that looks like Jesus and so Peter said hey Jesus if that's you let me come out there and, and uh, help tell me to come out the boat and let me walk on the water Jesus says all right Peter come on out and so Peter gets out the boat and he goes and he starts walking on the water and as if you're familiar with the story uh, Peter's walking on the water until he starts noticing, wait a second, there's some big waves going on around here. And then he uh, all of a sudden sinks. Jesus reaches out his hand, rescues him, and they get back in the boat. Something amazing happens the moment they both got back in the boat. All of a sudden, the storms died down. And here's what's happened. The disciples, when they saw this, they said, man, truly you are the Son of God. See, that was an example, by the way, of Revelation, which we talked about last time. But then here's what happened as a result of their revelation. The Bible says, and they worshipped Him. You see, as you are growing and God is revealing Himself to you, the result of revelation is worship. God shows you how awesome he is. God shows you how big and wonderful and marvelous he is. God shows you that he is in control of everything. And what happens in your heart is it leads to worship. You know, I, had, I was having a conversation with a friend recently and he was saying, you know, I'm having trouble entering into worship. And I said, well, here's what you need to do. You need God to reveal himself to you. Because the moment God reveals himself to you and you begin to see him in all of his glory and all of his splendor and all of his majesty and all of his authority and power, guess what's going to happen? Your heart is going to be drawn into worship. You will fall down before him in worship because you are in awe of who he really is. And so that's step number two. It's revelation, but that revelation will lead you so there you have it. We're two steps down. We got three more to go. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Remember, I'm Clarence Haynes. We'll see you next time in the Bible study.